Stuff. We're going to start with some gentle knee bends and the word is gentle for today's workout. Basic training, ideal for those of you who are just starting out with us for the very first time and congratulations for making the effort. Let's start to take a bend down on top of those knees, pressing. Be sure to keep those heels flat to the ground, hands sitting nicely on top of the hips to begin with. Little presses, keep it going for another four counts. And five, six, try that with your right foot stepping out to the front, just a little fraction. Pressing, pressing. Good, two more, five and six. Now change it, left leg to the front of the body. Both knees directly to the front, holding here for another four counts. Legs back together again and start to work that shoulder around, just warming up into the muscles of the upper body. Let's take it round the other way, here we go. Drop and lift, drop then lift, two more counts, five and six, marching in position, off you go. Gentle marches to start with. Shoulders are nice and relaxed, too short. Sure. Make sure you keep those arms close by the side of the body. And press, torso is lifted, good. And it's four counts, three, two, little side tap everyone. Work the arms down into a little punch. Be sure to keep them close to the body at this stage. You want to stay in control with these movements. Warming should be gentle, and you should remain comfortable throughout the warming exercises. Be sure to include warm-ups in everything you do with regards to your routine, your exercises. Even if it's a simple thing like just going out for a little bit of a walk, just some limbering up movements would be a good one to do. Little tap from side to side. Good. And again, four counts. Three. Now both arms coming down together. This is what we call an upright row. Just simply bringing your fist sliding up and down to that chest line. Work it. Shoulder movement down. And again, little simple tap. Press. Press, now change the arms to what you had it before. Work it down here, punch, strong, five and six. Upright rows again, off you go, take it down. Center, You're beginning to sit down on that middle leg. Now the arms, we're gonna add a slight change. We punch it right out to the side of the body. You gotta rotate that elbow underneath the shoulder joint and take it down to the side again for four. Three, two, out to the side, lengthen, good. One more time to the side of the torso. Good strong punch. And then finish off to the side. Ready? Prepare yourself. Upright rows. Off you go. Take it down. Down. Chest is lengthened. Four more. Three. Marching in position. Give those arms a bit of a shake out. Now what we're going to do next is basically utilize the floor space. Traveling movements begin with a march forward. One, two, three. At a clap. Easy does it. One, two, three. And tap your foot. Again, take it over. March for three, tap on four. One more time, please. Let's do a directional change. March to the left corner. Come back to the middle. Now turn around, march to the right corner. Good. Now turn around, march to the left side. One, two, three, tap. Turn around, march. Again, keep adding those little claps there. They kind of help you with the rhythm. And that's what exercising is basically all about. It really does help you to improve your rhythm. Four more. Take it back for the last time. Last one over to your right. All right, simple grapevine now. We're gonna start nice and easy on the grapevine step. Releasing it over. Now if I've got any of you who are fairly intermediate to advanced exercises, you can certainly turn this workout into what we call a body conditioning. Body conditioning means using hand weights as part of your routine. But only if you feel you are ready to, if you want to, of course. Two more. Let's take it from the top. Marching to the corner, here we go. One, two, three, kick it this time. Here we go, change legs, kick the right leg, and try it on the left side. One, two, kick the left. Last time, folks. One, two, three, straight into the grapevine step. Show me your chest, and two more like this. One more time. All right, simple squat. We're gonna go sliding to the right, and then slide off to your left side. Now, still remember, you are warming up, so you wanna take it easy on those joints. Not too deep with the squats to begin with. Easy presses, just moving laterally, side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
four, three, and another set to go. Toes and knees forward. Be sure to transfer your body weight as you work from side to side. One more time. Now marching in position. Big breath. Inhale. Exhale down. One more time. Let's put it all together. Marching to the corner, left side. One, two, kick it. Switch the legs over. One, two, kick it. One more time, please. One, two, kick the leg. And the last time. Here we go. Ready for the grapevine step. Base center. Grapevine across. Two more like this. One more time. Now let's go into that squat position. Open and lift tall. Open and lift tall. Just a nice gentle warm up if this is what exactly you have done. If you feel you need a little bit more time warming into the exercises, get those marches happening or repeat what I was just shown you. We've got basic training coming your way, so please do stay with us. See you soon. wonderful being outdoors. In fact, today we're actually, the location is called Garden Island here at Woolloomooloo Bay in Sydney itself. We've got the lovely HMAS Melbourne beside us, but for the time being, we're going to get you working through that basic training routine. Get those hand weights if you want to make the workout a little bit more challenging. Otherwise, beginners, no hand weights to start with. Also, ideal if you're expecting a baby, this is a great one for you to do. Take it four more counts, three and two. And one. What we're going to do is start from squat to left to right. We'll press this down. Here we go. Take it to the right side and up. Left side and up. Here we go. Pushing down. We're going to make that music go a little bit faster so we can just pick up on that tone again. And again. Little squat. Two more counts. One more time to the right. Now what I want to do is leave those legs open and stay down here with a gentle pulse. Little presses. Four more. It's five and six. Five, six, seven, eight, switch left side. Again, tummy's in a nice tight chest to the horizon, shoulders are very relaxed. Single squat, right to left again. Going right and center. It's left side and up we go. Are you taking your body weight over from side to side? Please make sure you are doing this. That's it, again, little presses. Two more counts, one more time. Now stay out for seven counts. Little pulses for seven, six, Five and four, it's three, two. Now switch it over to the left side. Down we go. So just really overloading into those leg muscles for four and three and two. Single count right to left. Sit it down and up we go. Let's move loads of big movements on this one. Single squats. Lots and lots of time to take it all the way down. Two more like this. One more time. All right, let's stay down for eight counts this time and switch after eight. Little presses and presses. Again, chest to the horizon. Six, five, six, seven, eight. Switch it over. Over. Push down. Let's go back to those single squats again. Now this time we're going to work the arms into the exercise at the same time. A little bit more here. There's very little aerobic conditioning in, is what we're actually doing. It's more toning and conditioning. But if you're a beginner, Fantastic for you to start with. You're probably huffing and puffing a little bit at this stage, but never mind. Got to start off somewhere. Two more like this. One more time. Now stay down for another eight counts, and we're just going to pulse with the arms at the same time. Elbows sitting directly in front of that chest. Four and three and two. Quickly switch over to the left side. Whoa. You can see how the knees remain absolutely bent. Four and three. Go back to the slow squats again. Off you go. Take it down and center. That's the way. Bottom side. Good. Hold it for another four counts. You're almost to the end. We're going to change the exercise after this. One more time, everybody. Five and six. Now take a march in position. Hold it right here. Big arm movements. Force those legs up nice and high, all the way up to your chest. Move back a fraction. March forward with a side toe tap. It looks like this at a clap. Good. And again. Let's try that again. You've got to really sit down on top of that center leg. Off you go. One, two, three, and a tap. And again. Come on. One more time. Now we're going to add two more taps at the end. Hold it here and add two more. Sit down. Sit down. And take it back. Good. Let it go again. Try that one more time. One, two, three. Tap it out. Take it backwards again. 
row. Now the next move is an easy walk. Cross open through the arm line. That's it. Big chest workout here. You're also exercising into the back and shoulder muscles. So be sure to keep the elbows slightly bent. Again, two more like this. Let's take it from the march with a side toe tap for three counts. One, two, three, stay here. And take it backwards. One, two, three, stay here. Straight into the easy walk right leg. Cross open through the arm line. Push through. Now as your fitness level increases, so will your rhythm, your sense of rhythm, your coordination. And you'll probably want to move a lot faster, but for the beginning, slow pace is the best way to go. March forward after four counts. Get ready, two more. One more. Let's go, marching to the front again with a side toe tap. One, two, three, four. And take it back again. All right, let's repeat this one more time to the front of the room. One, two, three, tap it outside. Last time, everybody. Excellent. Little easy walk on your right leg, cross open. One, two, sit it down. Make those squats happen for you, make them work. Good, now I want you to stay with the easy walk. Do anything else in between if you want to. Have a drink of water. We'll be back to lead you through a little bit more basic training. So see you right after this. Let's get that marching happening before we pick up on that tempo. Shake it out through those hands, everybody. Now the music's a touch faster. We're simply going to repeat all those movements I showed you. So it should be there in that head of yours, ready to pump it through. Let's go. After four and three and two, let's try the easy walk first. Cross, open, pull it in. Cross, open, pull it in. That's the way. Be sure to bend down on top of those knees. You don't want to charge forward. Don't drop the waist. Just keep that area lifted. That's it. Two more like this. One more. March forward with a three toe tap. Here we go. One, two, three. Stay here for three. And try that again, please. Just clapping nice and easy, low if possible. One, two, three. Draw the arms in on the taps. One more time. Excellent. Back to the easy walk, right leg. Cross open. Cross open. Pull it down. Good. Again, stay with this one. Remember the warm-ups where we march to the corners? And then we added that little grapevine. Well, we're going to try it a little later on in this part of the workout. Let's march it to the front again. Here we go. One, two, three. Hold it. No jumps today. No propulsion. Please do this one again. One, two. Clap it low. Work the arms outside of the body. Last time. Back to your easy walk right leg again. Now, after eight of this, we're going to march it to the left corner. Drop those legs down. Come on, another four more. Elbows are locked. Pull back firmly through the shoulder. One more time. From the warm-up, marching to the corner. Off you go now. It's one, two, three. Kick the right leg. Switch leg lead. Kick the left leg. Good. Let's try that again. Now we're one, two. Kick it out. Woo. Switch it over. Last time. Remember the grapevine? Grapevine takes the center. Now do this with the arms. Just pull forward and pull back. Even the fingers will stretch. You want to try and make the hands go past the hips, way back here. That's it. They've got to be working just as hard as the lower half of the body. One more time. Let's put it together. Easy walk on the right leg. One. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Keep going, please. That's the way. Excuse me for a moment. Thank you, Jody. Four more times. Don't stop. That's it. Bend down through those legs. Last one. Let's take it with a march forward. It's one, two. Stay low. Big strong movement through the arm line. And so you've got a set of wings. Let them flare out. Again. Come on. That's it. You're almost to the end. Woo! Easy walk on the right leg again. Cross, open, pull down. Now two more like this. Let's go from the marches to the corner of the room. Kick it a little higher. That's the way. Switch it over. Kick it high. Good. And again. One, two, kick it high. So you don't tap the leg as you go backwards. Good. Now grapevine to the side. Work the arms forward. Now I'm going to try something a little different with the arm lines on the grapevine. Watch me closely. Only the right arm goes out to the side. Now the left arm. Now the right arm again. So what you're doing here is exercising and strengthening the side shoulder muscles. They call your side deltoids. 
One more. We're going to take it to the march in the front with a three-toe tap. Go. One, two, three. Stay low. Take it back again. Long through those legs. You're forcing your body to sit right down in the center. So no leaning side to side. Last time. All right, easy walk right here. One, two, three, and in. Good, strong with the arms there. Are you exercising with a partner? If you've got some friends who you know, do work out with us as often as you do. Get them together once in a while, say a group of you two or three times a week, and it's a real load of fun. Here we go. One more. That's it, two to go. Last one, let's take it from the top with a march to the corner. Go, go, go. One, two, kick. Switch the leg over. One, two, kick. Good. Switch the leg over again. One, two, kick. Last time. And get ready to face the front for your grapevine step. Straight forward pushes with the arm. Strong here. Two more like this. One more. Now side deltoid raise. Right arm goes up. Just to about the shoulder height, no further. So I don't want any of this out of control arm lines. Just sit slow. Elbows to bend, particularly if you're using hand weights. One more time. Marching forward with the three taps. Stay low. Sit it low. Wendy's having a good time. <laughs> She's a hyper girl, in fact. But occasionally she loves doing these sort of basic training exercises. A lot of fun. Easy walk to finish it off. Well done. That was the end of the combination. We're just going to stay here and just work on our easy walks a little bit more. Two more like this. In fact, we're going to take you into a march. Have a drink of water. Keep that body of yours moving. We've got stretch right after this. Where has the time gone? We'll see you real soon. Start to take that shoulder roll, working it out from side to side, opening up through the leg line at the same time, and really open up the arms at the same time. That's it. Stick that chest out. You did a little bit of everything today. You would have felt it all over that body of yours. Now work that arm up and over to the side. Prepare your legs. We're going to go into the lower half, stretching out through that area very soon. But in the meanwhile, stay up here. And the last time, up and over. Ooh, feel it opening up there. Separate those ribs. Good job. Come through the center. Drop that body weight down and add a little bit of a twist through that waistline. Four, three, two, and one. Look to your left position. That's the way. It's more comfortable for you to have your thumbs on the insides of your knees, fingers on the outside when you do the stretch. Now we're going to turn you around, locate that back knee to the floor. Chest to the front, pressing down firmly through that hip area. Nice, eh? Are you feeling the stretch into the upper hip? I hope so. All right, both hands down as we gently ease your bottom to the back, stretching out to the hamstring line. Hold it right here. Now bend that knee forward again and turn it back to the center. Roll that body up. Scoop those arms forward. Don't forget, we've got the other leg to work with. All right, turn it round to the front, drift down with that knee, press into that hip line, hold it, and then both hands coming down to the floor, bottom to the back there, lengthen out through that leg area. You don't want to bring the head down to that knee itself. Always remember to look forward, you're getting a good stretch as it is in this position. Okay, knee down to the front, girls. Turn around, gently ease yourself in an upright position from the base of the spine. Remain on your feet. Now we're going to take one leg to the back of the room, press that heel down, get that arm working at the same time, a little bit of a back shoulder stretch. Can you see what's happening here? You've got hold of that elbow, pulling that arm gently into the torso. Good. Let's try the other side now. Heel down to the floor, left arm forward, bring it in, support the back of that elbow. Nice one to do for the back of the shoulder. Hold it five, six, Seven. How about a deep breath? Inhale, arms up. And drop it down. Twice more. Lift it all the way up. And down. One more time, please. All the way up. Good. Take it down here. You're going to take your arms, wrap it around your thighs, drop the head forward, lift the spine up to the ceiling. Good. Hold on to those fingers. And it's five, six, 
seven. Let it go now, just gently roll up for the very last time. Separate your legs, bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Big breath, hold the breath at the same time. And drop it down. Let's try that again. All the way up. And drop it down. One more, please. All the way up. Take it down. Head over to one side. Get that stretch working to the side of the neck. Over we go this way. Good. Center and take a circle. Let's take a little march in position. Hold it right here. Hands, give them a good shake out. Yes, that's it. So you've done some toning, a little bit of conditioning work here. Virtually targeted most of the muscles in that body of yours. You stretch yourself out. You want to do a bit more stretching. Go ahead. You're wow. You are warm. Otherwise, please be sure to join us again with the aerobics hostel. Bye bye for now.